Good morning, Earl's fam. <laughs> we got the crew in the car. <laughs> Leo, where are you? Where um, are you? I'm, I'm snuggling and playing with Chewie. Okay, so we uh, we left the house extra early this morning uh, to be in the car because we have got the finally, you guys, after who knows how long, we are doing the demolition on the kitchen, getting our new kitchen cabinet. It's all happening. If you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen. I do have a couple little things that I filmed on my phone, so I'll show you guys that first. So basically Harold's dad came over and for two days or two nights really, Harold and his dad worked on knocking out all the cabinets. And last night I have a clip as you can see that there was clearly just mold all behind the sink. Um, the cabinet guy and I guess somebody else had come out to check and they said that's like super normal for old houses and I'm like I'm never buying an old house ever again. Um, so Harold's gonna go get some mold stuff and treat it today and the plan is, the plan is um, Harold's doing a big clean up today. The cabinets, the, there was a truck at our house this morning um, delivering the cabinets. They're getting dropped off and if everything goes well, then tomorrow morning the guys are coming back to install the cabinets. Now the thing that I am largely regretting Ow! is that we decided to do like half one color. The other half we couldn't decide on the color because they just didn't manufacture it in a color, you know, um, that we liked. And so we just did like the raw wood. So now we're going to have to find someone to paint them. Uh, we still got to figure out the backsplash, installing like a kitchen sink I think we have to buy a kitchen sink still so there's still so many things that need to get done um, but that's the chaos of this morning I have traded positions Harold is now with me uh, we've got quite we got a black mold issue the issue so what happens when you take out all your sinks or all your cabinets and then you look behind your cabinets and turns out we've been living with black mold all behind our cabinets so Hey, Uncle Jeff, you there? Yeah. All right, I am in Home Depot now, and I have a list of things that I have typed out on my phone of stuff that I need to get. And I have my uncle coming over who is like a handyman slash knows how to handle these things. And we're going to try and fix it and solve it. So we've led to kind of one problem to another problem, but I think we can do it. I also have some, some pretty great friends and mentors, and I, I posted that picture. Uh, the black mold and I had several people call me and were like hey don't mess around with this get respirators which I'm getting um, and I'll walk through in a minute some of the stuff I'm getting in case you guys ever have this issue but I mean it, it can be life-threatening which is pretty crazy some waterproof board babe oh, I got a mold killer that I'll show in there and I got a n95 mask so I googled it n95 mask work for mold so I'm gonna use that okay and you brought me a coat oh sweet Babe, I'm proud of you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is bright and early this morning. We are getting the kids ready for school. I actually am getting some waffles out of our freezer, which by the way, boom, it's set into the cabinets. Awesome, hold on one second. And speaking of kitchen, I wanna show you guys in a minute, and, and Rachel, she's running around helping get the kids ready, but we wanna show you some of the progress we've had in the kitchen and what we've done. But first, we gotta get the kids off to school. Good morning, dude, are you getting ready for school? Eating some breakfast. Mm. Can you tell us who's this guy here? You've been carrying him around everywhere with you. He's fire truck monkey. He's fire truck monkey wearing a Captain America outfit. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. This guy has been snuggling and sleeping with him mm -hmm. everywhere. Oh, wow. Cool. Good morning. Are you ready for school? Mm -hmm. Good morning, dude. You're not going to school yet, but you get to spend some time with mommy. What's wild, you guys? I was trying to get to some things this morning. We have so many boxes that we haven't even unpacked since we our last move. So over a year, we had a bunch of boxes in storage 
and then just like throughout the house that was meant to go in the kitchen, all of our bowls, all of our actual nice plates. We haven't gotten any of it out. So I'm gonna show you guys here in a second, all the stuff we got out. All of these plates in here, we did not have. Yeah, you like our paper plates because that way we don't have a dishwasher, we can use those. But then we have these plates and we have these bowls up here. So all of this stuff we have that we didn't have. I have some before. I know, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Super cool. Yeah, we got some really nice big black plates back there. You wanna see them? Look at this thing. They haven't seen these since like three years ago. Last time we Whoa. used those things, huh? Whoa! <laughs> it's the little things in life, I guess. Hey, babe, have you seen their backpacks? Oh, perfect. Oh, you're great. My monkey is gonna go in my backpack. Oh, yeah? Where's your backpack? We gotta make sure we get him in the car. I'm gonna tell them about the kitchen, okay? okay. All right, guys, so we have done a lot, but there's still a lot to be done. So I think last you guys saw us, there was a huge mold problem behind the sink. Harold worked really hard with his uncle, and they were able to get the mold out and replace, like, the backing area. And they got all of the cabinets taken out themselves, which saved us a lot of money, which is really nice. Yeah, That's one of the probably, ways that... Yeah, I get probably two, three grand. So, um, just one of the ways that we're trying to stay on a budget for this whole project. And then they came and they installed our cabinets. What we ended up going for was these other, actually off-white cabinets that go along here and then this area. And yesterday, we actually... Harold and his uncle got the fridge back in there, so that was nice. We have the white cabinets. Thanks, babe. We're doing the white cabinets. <laughs> we're just trying to do in the dark. This is the old um, countertop. This is off. They just, I think, put this here as like a workbench type thing. Um, the oven area over here, and then that's it on the off white. Um, this we got in just the natural wood. And by the way, our painter is coming uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we're and getting it painted. So Sherman Williams color of the year last year was evergreen fog. It's like a green gray. And so no, they're gonna I, be red. They're red. gonna be red cabinets. Can you go help Chewie? Okay. Red. He needs to be feeling left out. Sorry, we have a lot of trash in here as we were trying to go through stuff. So we're still trying to fixing this. But yes, we decided we were gonna paint them. That was a hard decision. We couldn't decide. I thought I might want to stain them, but hey. It just seemed like too risky. So we're painting them. And then the other things are, um, we're gonna have some floating shelves that will go here. There. And then on that wall over here. I got true true. So a couple other big things that are happening. The countertop people came in, they measured They're coming Thursday. This. So, so tomorrow gonna... the painter's coming. And then the next day we have the, the countertop, countertop so coming. Oh, and hey, wanted to share some updates with you, babe. I had the wall guy come yesterday. So something What's really, the wall guy? so something really cool that we're what the rock wall. Oh, the stone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so we got a. They're giving us a price quote. What we're gonna do, and I think we've mentioned it before, but this entire wall here above everywhere, and then all up over here, we're gonna make a stone wall. So we're gonna turn it into a stone wall, and we're actually gonna make this into an arch which is gonna be really, really cool. We're then gonna do accents, so we're gonna do the stone going all the way up the wall right here too. And then, what I'm gonna have them do is we got it, uh, talked about it yesterday and then you're gonna price quote. We're gonna do an arch doorway here, and then we're gonna do stone that goes around, like a one foot stone thing that goes around the arched entryway. So, should be awesome. And the painter, when he comes tomorrow, whatever, He's also gonna paint this. Oh, you don't match, like the two different colors? <laughs> match this color. So, cause we got this off of Facebook Marketplace. So another way, just trying to save money, you know. So we didn't buy any sort of custom. All of our appliances were off yeah, Facebook we Marketplace. Kept our the question that we do have, we'd love y'all's opinion, is these are silver handles. These are gold handles. I wonder what it's gonna look like when we paint it. Oh, let's talk right? about the the handles for a second. Oh, yeah, As yeah. they were installing, I was at the playground with Truett, and Harold calls me, and he's like, we have to go pick out handles right now. So I kid you not, we rushed to the store, and we just whoa, 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 whoa. What, what happened was the guy's like, hey, where's your, uh, where's your handles at? We're ready to put on handles here in about 30 minutes. And I'm like... Yeah, of course. Let me uh, let me call my wife. I think we're picking them up at the store. <laughs> and so I like called her. I was like, "We need handles right now." So we like drove as fast as we could and just picked. Literally, we went into one store, 
saw all the handles, but I think they were a total knockout, a total winner, and I'll show them to you here. It ended up working out really good because I'm pretty indecisive and tend to just change my mind. Have you got something to say? Rethink it, but we have to, we had 20 minutes, so we picked them out. We weren't really sure what it was gonna look like, but it ended up looking good. And and we walked in the store thinking we were gonna get black or silver. So I mean, and we did not get black or silver, but I gotta admit, babe, they look amazing. I mean, look at that door, babe. That's gonna look so good with that uh, soft, yeah. So if you talk about the quartz, it's like a, it's not a white. It's the same as our other, our bathroom quartz. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they've seen it. So this is the color of our quartz here. It's like a warm tone. So it should look really good with that evergreen, fog green we're gonna get. A couple of things that we did have to do that you guys probably don't notice, but are actually really important in the kitchen, is rearranging the electrical outlets was, was actually a little bit more time consuming than I thought. Fortunately, my uncle was great, but we had to move electrical outlets that were here and put them on the other side of this wall. And we had to rearrange some of the other electrical outlets underneath here. So things to be mindful of if you guys do your kitchen. Another thing we did, which was great, is we got bins that help organize our cabinets. And the reason we really like this is because it saved us a lot of money where they, you can buy things that are like organizers that come already pre-made, but we actually like doing it this way because these were like $10 at Walmart. And essentially they accomplish the same thing. Harold is gonna load the kids up really quick. So I'm gonna kind of wrap this up because I have a pediatrician appointment with Truett. So life has just been wild, you guys. So a couple things, as you can tell, I mean, the back walls of these, everything is still really messed up. So, you know, once we get the backsplash in, um, that's gonna cover this and that side over here, but you can see other spots. Um, we'll have someone to come in and touch up all of this and, you know, all the, all the stuff that you can tell is just still not clean. I'm not sure if Harold showed you already, but these have a little soft clothes, which is nice. We went to the store and we bought this light, which I want to take it out of the packaging and see if it's going to match. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this light off and then we're going to install that hanging light like right there. Um, and so maybe that will look better. It is most definitely still a work in progress, but we have made a lot of progress from when everything was getting ripped open and I was just really nervous that it was going to not turn out good. So I'm happy with the way that it's gone so far and I feel like we've done a really good job to budget um, and we've kind of individually done it. We haven't had a GC or anything. So Harold's just been talking individually to people, the countertop people and the cabinet people. The cabinets are diamond. I think that was one of the questions that you guys asked um which is just like a pretty normal name brand nice mom's got the backpacks by the door all right boys come on let's grab your backpack, My backpack. yeah which one's yours Before. can you tell me about it that <laughs> yep oh. oh you getting yours ready to go all right all right all right all right all right <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 where's that monkey going? Is he riding to school with you? Yeah. All right, guys, I just ah. dropped off the boys at school. I got chewed in the back. We are in the Chick-fil-A line this morning. Things took a little bit of a turn. As we were getting the kids in the car, I started to feel really sick. Rookie mistake. We had no food at the house for me to eat for breakfast. And, you know, I was already feeling really low and I was like, oh, you know, I forgot to take my iron yesterday. I need to make sure I take my iron and my prenatals. My prenatals I can take just with like on an empty stomach because they have a slow release. But I didn't think about the iron. And so right as I get in the car to take the boys, I'm like, I'm going to throw up and I had to get up. And sure enough, I did. So I'm feeling okay right now, but still no food. So we're going to grab some food then rush to Truett's appointment. Hopefully I can edit this in time for you guys to see it today. But that's a big update on what's going on with the kitchen. A lot of stuff happening in the next few days. So, you know, I don't know if by Thursday, but probably next week we'll have a bigger update, which is exciting. Yes, Truy. Woo! And this baby, we're just growing. Um, the boys are actually really cute in the car because they saw me get sick. Mommy, I don't want you to be sick. And, and I was like, it's okay, you know, it's just the baby, you know. 
Um, and why it's like, we need to get the baby out. <laughs> I was like, oh no, not yet. It's like a good thing. So, you know what? Oh, you know, the good news is I'm a fourth of, of the way through. So I'm 10 weeks. Uh, oh. We've made it a fourth of the way and cheers to that. So love God, love people, make a difference and be thankful. See you guys soon. Bye.